Hey guys, welcome back. Today we discuss Neil Gaiman and Elon Musk. Elon Musk is never shy when it comes to voicing his opinion on everything from politics to pop culture. So it came really as no surprise to anyone when he dropped his take on Amazon Rings of Power following the release of the series first and second episodes. In a tweet direct and to the point, Musk slammed the show, saying Tolkien is turning over in his grave, which is a sentiment shared by fans the world over. He goes on to observe how almost every male character so far is a coward, a jerk, or both. And he's not wrong. And yes, some celebs are known to just chime in on any trending topic for clout, but we know Musk's passion for Lord of the Rings because he's told us before. With the New Yorker in 2009, Musk said that when he was a young boy growing up in South Africa, he would read books to combat loneliness. The heroes of the books I read, the Lord of the Rings and the Foundation series, always felt a duty to save the world, Musk said. Unlike those involved in this sad excuse for an adaptation of Tolkien's work, Musk actually cares about the story and the characters because they were there for him and gave him comfort when he felt alone as a child and because they've obviously served as an inspiration for him as an adult. But at the end of the day, his is a fan's opinion, a customer's feedback, if you will, of a product, one that despite what Hollywood and the mainstream media would have you believe, none of us are obligated to enjoy or to praise. And yet, these days, the customer is no longer right, but attacked for not simply consuming in silence the trash Hollywood is dead set on selling. Now, Amazon is suspending reviews, accusing fans of review bombing and trolling, all because it's justifiably getting ripped to shreds, even by some mainstream critics. Uh, Morphin Clark was so happy to get the big role of Galadriel. In fact, she said she fainted when she found out. So I feel bad that I have to report that she is the worst casting choice of the show and drags the entire thing down. She makes Galadriel both an elven Mary Sue and an elven Car Karen who would like to speak to the manager. I can't believe it. I can't believe she's both of those horrible things. They refuse to accept responsibility or listen to what we're actually saying and make changes. Go back to the drawing board. No, no, they're instead backing each other up in Hollywood and doubling down, which is all they know to do. Neil Gaiman, executive producer for Netflix's The Sandman, which has received its own share of justifiable backlash, had this to say. Elon Musk doesn't come to me for advice on how to fail to buy Twitter, and I don't go to him for film, TV, or literature criticism. <laughs> Sir, what does one have to do with the other? Your job, like that of the Lord of the Rings, Dan and Dave, J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay, is to put forth a good product. Our job as customers is to judge it and let you know what we think. That's how this works. We're paying you, not the other way around. This isn't a pet project being made for personal use. If you put something out there for customers to buy, to spend money on, to waste time on, and it's trash, we get to say so. Hello? Rings of Power suffers from everything from bad writing to shoddy graphics. And no, no, I'm not giving it credit for the CGI. It looks like a painted tarp behind a high school stage play in most cases. Cheap costumes and set pieces, unlikable characters, and the criminally disrespectful and soulless deconstruction of Tolkien's vision, to name a few. The show is two episodes in and it took me two days of trying not to fall asleep to watch it. It sucks, it's terrible, it's trash, objectively. And if Amazon doesn't do something besides hate on the fans, it can write it off now as the worst failure in television history. Elon Musk isn't wrong, but even if he were, even if he were, he has a right to state his opinion, as we all do and as we should. These people need to know how we feel about the products they're trying to shove in our faces. We get to reject them and we get to do so without being called racist and phobes and this and that and the other. 
you're deflecting Amazon, you're deflecting Netflix, you're deflecting Disney, and it's not going to work. But hey, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.